Good morning! Hi, hello, welcome back. Today is going to be a follow-up on my previous video. If you missed it, it was pretty much just me sitting down chatting about a bunch of trends that are allegedly in for 2023. But today I thought I'd actually go ahead and style some of them using stuff I already have in my wardrobe or a couple of things that I picked up at the thrift store over the last couple of months, which I think is important to remember how fickle fashion trends are. Chances are whatever's trending right now has also trended at some point in the past, so you might already have it in your wardrobe wardrobe or you probably can find it secondhand. For example, our first trend which is lace and sheer fabrics in general. Yes, these have been popular for many, many years, but specifically in 2022 and 23, we've seen an increase in this ultra feminine styling, which I guess is why we're seeing lace even more frequently than usual. This wide singlet I thrifted like six or seven years ago. I love it because it's just that traditional lace pattern to it. Typically, I like to layer it up a lot, but the trend at the moment is definitely just to wear it sheer with nothing underneath. I love that look when I see it on Pinterest, but me personally, I don't think my social anxiety would allow for it. So I've also got another option. This one, I feel like wearing it with a black bralette, it still wouldn't look too funny. Plus since the actual lace has more of a pattern to it, I don't know, something about it just doesn't feel quite as revealing. Actually, you know what, even just with the nude bra underneath to like erase my nipples, I think I'm okay with. I'm not gonna lie, instantly my brain is like, just do a black mini skirt, which I believe would be cute, but I feel like we can try and be a little bit more adventurous. This I actually do really like though. I think that the detail of the lace was kind of getting lost with some of the darker colors. So having the wide skirt really lets it shine. I do like the idea of opting for the tall boots with the long skirt. It gives like a late nineties, early 2000s sort of feel to it. But I also think it would be cool to do a pop of color on the shoes as well. It's been a while since I broke out the little Dorothy red slippers, but I think this is the perfect occasion for it. This is it pre-accessorized and then this is it with some accessories obviously trying to tie the red in a little bit with some ribbon and I went for a denim satchel bag I felt like this kept the look somewhat casual and still daytime appropriate the other way you could really do a nice juxtaposition would be to switch out the shoes for like a colored pair of sneakers personally I didn't partake in the adidas samba trend last year because whenever there's a sneaker trend I just know I'm not gonna get my money's worth out of it. So for me, I'm more than happy to stick with my little pumps, but picturing this outfit on Pinterest, I could definitely see it with sneakers. As a lot of you probably already know, I am a Libra, also Gemini and Pisces in my big three, so I'm incredibly indecisive. Hence, we've gone back to the boots option, and I'm glad I did because I think I actually prefer it Obviously more of a wintry sort of style and kind of giving me that whimsy goth sort of aesthetic. I guess it's just the silhouette, like the long coat, long skirt, tall boots is kind of Phoebe Buffet. I think this actually ended up being an inadverted two-in-one trend. Of course, the lace we started off with, but also the maxi length skirts are still very much in and I think we will be seeing it teamed with boots pretty often. Previously, I spoke about the popularity of fuzzy textured knits, but something I failed to mention in that video is also the trend of quirky hats, specifically with some form of animal ears. To be fair though, I don't know if this is a mainstream trend or something that just feels really trendy to me because it is huge in the K-pop space at the moment, especially since new jeans come back this year with the bunny hats. But again, I feel like this has been in for the last couple of years. I've done bunny hats, bear hats, and finally I can add a cat shape to my collection or in my brain, it's more a fox. So yeah, this is actually the only trend item that I have made a new purchase for, but this yeah. specific item I've actually had saved on my Pinterest for what feels like forever. And I was so happy to finally find where it was from. And to be honest, I actually have almost the exact jacket she's wearing in that picture as well. I thrifted it for my boyfriend like five years ago. So I could just recreate the entire fit, but I think I also want to switch it up a little bit. It's so freaking cute with the jacket. I can see why it's been living in my brain rent free for so long. This is totally something I would wear. Okay, I thought we could opt for a looser inspiration and go for new jeans sort of concept in general. So I switched into the wide leg fit pants with the bedazzle moments and then opting for either a baby tee or go full oversized on oversized jersey, which is very Y2K. But this is really cool. And if you are someone who has more of a mask leaning style then I think this could be a really good option. I'm not going to embarrass myself and attempt the dance here despite the fact that I definitely look like I'm about to film a dance cover. This is 100% something that stylists would put them in even down to the little bunny bag. I mean 
Come on! I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try styling it just one more time because at the end of the day, it doesn't match my aesthetic unless it can be styled with a plaid mini skirt. It feels like I'm working with extremely long extensions or something trying to lay off. Okay, but the question is socks or leg warmers? Yep, this definitely feels the most me, not just because of the plaid mini skirt, but also just the layers, the clashing patterns, the mismatched accessories. I love it. I cannot wait until summer is over so I can actually start wearing some of these outfits. I'm telling you, the 35 degree heat has been torturous for trying to plan any sort of look. I'm sorry, but I'm doing another one of those broader sort of trends. Like I mentioned in my last video, I prefer these because it means you can adapt it to your own style however you see fit. So I thought we'd try out the angles and asymmetry trends. I'm very curious to see just how far this one goes. Like, will we just be sticking to slouchy tops, random cutouts and gathered up skirts? Or is it gonna be a full on comeback? of the mullet skirt. I don't have a mullet skirt to style today, but I do have this one that looks like it's been half eaten by a shark, which means it is guaranteed to score you some comments at any sort of family gathering about how they hope you didn't pay full price for a skirt that's half missing. We've barely even added anything and I'm actually kind of already liking it already. I'm wondering about the addition of a belt. I am kind of going for that like rock star sort of vibe. I don't know, you know me. Any chance to dress like an Ayazawa character and I'll take it. Yeah, definitely prefer just my old faithful. How many times have you guys seen this corset? I really like doing only the first few up. A, so much more comfortable. I can actually breathe, but I think it still actually gives the illusion of like a snatched waist. I don't know. Adding a few necklaces and I'll probably end up putting my hair up too, but I wanted to talk about the discourse on TikTok recently about Ah, no necklaces, the next trend. I feel like people have had so much to say about it for some reason. Personally, never gonna be me. I love to accessorize too much, but I actually think it's gonna be the return of these like long, super chunky, dangly necklaces, especially with how the indie sleaze era is upon us once again. You know what? I think we have officially done her justice. There's something about this look that my brain is just really enjoying with the combination of the thick horizontal stripes, the thin vertical pin stripes, and also just the angle of the skirt with the cutoff of the boot. I don't know, it's, it's really speaking to me. To be fair, you could totally just wear this outfit with a regular full length denim skirt. So I wanted to try and bring in another element of asymmetry. So I'm gonna try and throw on this blazer. You guys have seen this before and surprisingly quite liked it considering it was just a DIY job. I completely hacked up this regular blazer. I removed one sleeve and then on the opposite side, I also removed the lower panel, which I really like. I feel like it's the best of both worlds because you have the asymmetry, but it also balances itself out. The 3D flower trend I love, but most commonly I see it styled very fancy. No, not just by fancy club, but you know what I mean? The outfits are very much something you would wear out at night, which isn't really my forte, so I'm going for something more casual, hence just the coolest summer dress. This is like the only thing I actually wanna wear at the moment because it feels nothing like at all. nothing on. Nothing at all. Originally, I was thinking as a belt, which is actually its original purpose, but there's not a whole lot going on, so perhaps we'll try and find a lightweight layer and then see how best to utilize it. Look, I had good intentions with the addition of the crochet cardigan, but it is kind of giving grandma. I'm sorry, I had to do that one off camera because I was pretty much ready to give up on it, but this is the best I could come up with. And I think it's pretty cute. It's kind of giving like rom-com girly. I think it is just still the color of the flower. If it was white, it matched the socks. It just popped a little bit more. I think I would be more excited about the look, but the overall concept is there, so. Hopefully you see the vision. Indeed, after watching back the footage, the color was really bothering me. So I thought I would also try it with the green as the background and just try to match it up with the waistline of the top. And again, it's still just sticking with that same girly 2000s sort of vibe. The more I'm seeing about the off the shoulder trend, the more I'm liking specifically the chunky knitwear sweaters that slouch off the shoulders. And then I remembered I had this contraption which i thrifted in about september so it was already too hot to wear something like this but i think it is time to break it out it's actually supposed to be this is the front and it zips in the back let's let's try it on taking into consideration where the tag is i think this is how it's intended to be worn just as like a really drapey cow neck 
Not too sure what the thought process was with the zipper in the back, but I feel like it can be better utilized. So let's try and spin it around. Instantly, I think it's looking better with the zip in the front. I'm gonna unzip this top part though and kind of pull it off the shoulder. And then since the zip is actually upside down, I think if we just zip it to halfway and let it flare out, it's a lot more flattering. I've also decided to just thread through a bit of ribbon in the back so I can cinch it a little bit. Luckily for us, ribbons and bows are also on trend, so I think it looks cute. Since the off the shoulder sweater trend is kind of an offshoot of ballet core, I thought it could be cute to do a nod to that with the tights and leg warmers. I know with how busy it is up here, it's kind of taking away from the original trend of just the straight, clean, off the shoulder angle, but honestly, I prefer it this way. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure how often the weather is actually appropriate and calls for an off the shoulder sweater. So I thought I'd also try layering it up with a thinner turtleneck sweater underneath. And I think I actually prefer this, but that could also just be because I feel less at risk of having my boobs slip out. But I do think it's cute. And I don't think you really even lose the integrity of the initial silhouette. Plus these vintage brown boots kind of make it. I'm sorry we have reverted back to the pajamas because both me and the camera were overheating. But we are now back and ready for a controversial one. No, not the micro short hot pants underwear is outerwear trend because honestly, not much of a short person in general, but this is something I've seen circulating for a little while now, more so out of fear of its return, which is peplums. And I think the reason everyone is kind of up in arms about it is because you think of it specifically in that like Pretty Little Liars era when everyone was wearing the fitted cropped blazers and the fitted and then peplum tops or dresses. But don't stress. It doesn't have to be like that this time around if you don't want it to be. Something that has really caught my eye is this particular blouse from Ghani. And honestly, at first glance, it doesn't even register as a peplum top to me, except for the fact that's literally what it's called. So I'm definitely feeling this more relaxed silhouette. And I was actually lucky enough to thrift this one last week, which was clearly already cute, but I thought it would be a fairly simple DIY to actually cut it down the middle and add the little ties. So it was more similar to my inspo image. And are you kidding? It turned out so cute, dare I say, better than the original and for only a whopping three dollars obviously bow detailing has been a trend in general but i've noticed specifically this sort of tie up top and dress i have been saving a lot on pinterest recently i thought maybe we could try styling it with another trend the solid colored tights my first thought was to keep it quite chic with the knee high boots which is cute but i thought maybe the kind of color blocking sort of cuts me off a little bit but what if instead we just elongate the leg with a matching pair of red shoes but you can definitely expect to see a lot more of this top i love it honestly i forgot that the original trend was even supposed to be controversial with the peplum like i said it's such a relaxed fit you can't even really tell it almost feels more like baby doll i also feel like i could be in some form of tights commercial from the 60s but i promised a controversial trend so let's try styling this again but this time with capris yes Capris. I cannot believe that is coming out of my mouth because that is something I thought I personally would never like to see again. Don't get me wrong because I've seen so many amazing outfits styling them recently, but I think the reason they're so scary is because it's kind of easy to stuff it up. They're not the most forgiving item if they're not styled correctly. But for the sake of this video, I braved it and picked up this pair actually from the same op shop. I got this shirt and what sucked me in in the end was of course the fact that they were this baby blue color with the plaid pattern, two of my favorite things. My main beef with a pair of pants this length is that it is so hard to find a pair of shoes that is flattering, especially me, like I don't like having my toes out. I must say I'm starting to see why capris and pointed toe shoes trend at the same time. But as you guys know, I don't have any. I have, however, dug through storage for these. They're still square toe, but since they're a nude color, I think it might give the same sort of illusion. You know what? I'm not even as mad as I thought I would be at it. I'm not in love, but it is kind of giving like an updated 2023 picnic bitch energy, which I could be down for. Oh, also more of a minor trend alert, I guess, is noisy bangles because I've seen a lot more talk about them recently. And again, I have the 3D flower scrunchie, so hopefully these last couple have kind of been redemption. 
for that mishap earlier. <laughs> now this is not a new trend by any means. Even here on the channel, I've been talking about it for over the last 12 months, but I do still see it on the incline. Like more and more people are still starting to adopt it. And honestly, I think it is still my favorite trend at the moment. Every time I see someone styling it on TikTok, instantly, it's a sleigh. And that is of course, skirt over pants, dress, over pants, I love it. When I first was starting to get into it, I would stick more so to just like a plain black flare pant with quite a simple skirt over the top, just because it was easier to style in. That's like the best way to dip your toes into it, I feel like. I look kind of ridiculous, so we're gonna balance it out with some layering on top as well. In my opinion, it's giving my favorite band in the early 2000s was Death Cab for Cutie. Like there is literally no good reason for this to remind me of Seth Cohen, but somehow it does. And that's where the Death Cab for Cutie reference kind of came from as well. Definitely one of my favorite trends and I am hoping we continue to see more of it this year. Let me know which trends you're most into at the moment though, if any, and also what ones you might want to see me style next time. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you really, really soon. Bye.